Hello, my name is Reza Taher and I'm presenting an article titled as Towards a Study of Research Topics Evolution in Artificial Intelligence Based on Topic Embedding. This paper is written with the co-authorship of the Dr. Ali Akbari and Suresh Taheri. In this presentation, first I'm going to talk about topic evolution concepts and research topics on which our method is performed. Then related works and some common techniques in this area will be described. And I'm going to explain proposed method next and the results will be shown in the last section. Due to the significant increase in published scientific articles, tracking research topics evolution is a fascinating field of research. Topic evolution indicates how a group of topics behave over time. These topics can be, uh, can be research areas or news topics in social media. In research topics, topic evolution is usually performed by analyzing published articles. The problem is how a group of research fields evolve over time. Topics can emerge, vanish, or become adjacent or distant from each other. In this paper, we focus on tracking the evolution of research topics of artificial intelligence. We selected AI because it's one of the most popular research areas, attracting most researchers' uh, attention nowadays. We propose a method based on topic embedding and 115. 50 subfields of uh, AI are considered the topics under study. And as a result of this paper, we indicate which topics of AI have become uh, converged or diverged. Topic evolution research works usually consider the text or abstract of research articles to examine topic changes. The articles, citations, keywords, and authors are considered as well. Although in most, in most research works, uh, the evolution of a group of topics is, is examined. But in this paper, we propose a method that can track each field's changes over time. We adopted an embedding approach to model each topic in a fixed size vector. For this, we utilize joint publications uh, among different fields of study. In the proposed method, we should take four steps in order to reach our principal goals. First, we offer a method to calculate the similarity between fields of study. Then, with the help of similarity obtained from the uh, previous step, we embed each topic in a multidimensional vector. After topic embedding, the distance will be calculated, and by tracking changes in distances over time, we can examine how topics converge or diverge from each other. In the first step, we calculate the similarity between topics. Suppose F is a set of topics under study and P is papers related to these topics F. For each year I, A sub I of X is a set of papers related to topic X. For two different topics X and Y, at year I, the intersection and union set of A sub I of X and A sub I of Y are calculated. Then the similarity of topics X, topic X and Y is the intersection set divided by the union set, which is the Jacquard similarity of the two sets. For performing topic embedding, we embed each topic in a fixed size vector. Suppose N is the number of topics and Y is the set of all topics under study. For each year I, the embedded vector of topic X is demonstrated by an n-dimensional vector. In this vector, each dimension is the similarity of a specific topic to X. We perform topic embedding for each year separately. After topic embedding, we can perform some mathematical operations on topics. For example, the distance between topic X and Y can be easily obtained from calculating the Euclidean distance between their embedded vectors. So far, we have proposed a method to calculate the distance between each topic pair in each year. By examining the distance between topics, we can track how topic pairs react to each other over time. But the question may arise as to why we calculate the distance despite the existence of Jacquard similarity. To clarify this, we explain two reasons. First, suppose X, Y, and Z are three different topics. At the year i, the similarity of x and y and the similarity of x and z is zero, which means that they have no joint articles. 
In this, in this situation, the Jacquard distance between x and y is considered equal to distance between x and z because they have the same amount of similarity. We don't, uh, we don't want them to be considered equal since other topics can affect the calculated distance between them. As mentioned in the first reason, other topics are not considered uh, in calculating the distance between two specific topics in jacquard based distance. Suppose n, x, and n, y are a set of closest topics to x and y, and x and y similarity is zero. We believe that the commonality of these sets is effective in calculating the distance between x and y, and this notation is not uh, considered in jacquard based distance. As mentioned before, we perform our proposed method on 150 subtopics of artificial intelligence. We can see these topics under study in this figure, which are extracted from Microsoft Academic Graph. As the first result of this paper, we see that uh, the topics and the topic embedding result uh, of the uh, year 2020 in this figure. Although we embed each topic in a 150-dimensional vector, we perform the PCA dim dimensionality reduction method to visualize the embedding result. As you can see, topics which are close conceptually are adjacent to each other in a two-dimensional space. Identifying adjacent and distant, distant topics in artificial intelligence can be beneficial for scholars. The left side table, we can see the closest topics of AI in the year 2020. As we can see, convolutional and convolutional neural networks uh, are the closest topics. It is observed that the results, uh, results are truly interpretable uh, and the closest uh, concepts found by the proposed method are adjacent topics. On the right side, the topmost distant topics are presented. We can see that computer graphics and meta heuristic are far from each other and there is no relationship between them. In order to find the most converging topics, we first define the concept of topic pair rank. To get the rank of each topic pair in each year, we first sort the topic pairs based on their pairwise distance. Then we assign a rank to each FOS pair to uh, so that the first rank is allocated to the topic pair with the shortest pairwise distance. Last rank belongs to the uh, topic pair with the most significant distance uh, among all other, other topics. We use the rank of uh, topic pairs to examine the uh, convergence and uh, divergence of topics. One of, the, uh, one of our essential goals in this research is to study the behavior of topics over different periods of time. This report examines the distance between topic pairs in different years to, uh, years to analyze which topics are converging and which are diverging. Converging topics have become more, more relevant in recent years, while diverging ones have become less similar topics. In this regard, we consider 10 years of publications between 2011 and 2020. The average rank of each topic pair is calculated in two time periods. First, the years from 2011 to 2015, and then 2016 to 2020. By comparing the average rank of each topic pair in the first and second periods, the changes can be analyzed during these uh, 10 years. The table shows the most converging topic pairs. For example, it demonstrates that uh, embedding and machine translation topics had the highest convergence among all uh, AI sub-branches. Uh, because their average rank decreased uh, the most in the second period. We can see the decrease in, the, uh, in their distance and rank, uh, distance and rank in this figure as well. On the other hand, this table illustrates the most divergent topic pairs. According to this table, deep learning and <clears throat> unsupervised learning topics had the highest divergence among the uh, AI subfields. Moreover, the figure illustrates that uh, the divergence of the pair of deep learning and unsupervised learning. 
So, in this paper, we propose the method for topic evolution study and the method is applied to artificial intelligence research subtopics. Uh, sub for this purpose, we adopted topic embedding approach and each topic represented as a multidimensional uh, vector. This topic embedding technique can be applied to other domains, uh, for example, uh, hashtag trend analysis in social media and uh, finding closely related movies or music genres. And thanks for your attention.